I gotta get the mage out of here. The mage is like the worst character. I need her. I, I need her to not be one of my last characters. These fights are very entrancing, right? Like I'm telling uh, everybody, this game's a hidden gem. Because like I, you just lose track of time. You get sucked in, the, the runs like slowly get longer and longer. Need to be a little bit cheesier each time. Looks like we're going Frost Mage this time. Yeah, here's the bear form. That's one of the cards that is way too good. Let's see, you get... Have max health and max shields up. This increases your attack and max health by 35%. It's just, it's good to be a bear. I don't even worry that like the the nature skills probably also have like a regen somewhere in there. Like it's really easy to make your character immortal. There are a lot of broken builds in this. But the funnest ones, the the most fun ones are the really flashy ones. Dual cast here. Let's dual cast glacial spikes. Do we lone wolf this? I don't think so. I think we're going to need. We're going to need some summons to survive at some point. In which case, bestow is a really good skill. So we want that. Am I dual casting? Are these not projectiles? They're not. They're just regular attacks. Good to know. They're doing fine. And now they will do finer. More glacial spike. Uh... Lightning Elf? Tree and Form. Skills will be cast in alternating order each time a different active damage skill is cast. Damage from the next one is multiplied by 160. I'm interested. Yeah, what if we did that? What if we got Tree and? I'm a tree. That's not going in uh, order. So it has to be a different skill. What if it's the same skill? Just, just throwing that out there. What if that? I think that did more damage. Hang on. Yeah. I think that did do more damage. Okay.
We're on to something. We're cooking. I can get rid of the double cast and just have nothing but glacial spike in here. Have him rotate between the same skill a million times. Here's more ice. I mean, I don't have another projectile skill. We'll get there. does the most damage 130 okay so frostbolt needs to be the last thing we can cast for the the extra damage uh we're gonna get this down here Frost Nova, Frost Storm. We're just going to do them all. All the Frosties. I mean, which freeze? One, two, three. One, two, three. See, number three always wipes them out, and I like it. Uh, let's see. Two in here. Want you? We should get a frost golem in here. We're just gonna go deep into the frost. I like the tree in. I like the tree in a lot. It's one of the problems this game has is like you'll get you can have a bunch of like attack skills or casting skills and like you can't trigger them because the cooldown's so slow. Like a lot of these are just instant cast with no cooldown. And so you don't see like half of your spells most of the time. But with Treant, like you're encouraged to get like nothing but attack skills and you'll just get beefier with each cast. I wonder if the Ice Golem will affect damage. Like, he's technically another skill to cast, right? Active damage skills. Okay, so he doesn't count. It'll be good to have on the party anyway. It'll increase the general frost damage that we do. Pew. 
<laughs> Julia! Welcome! Thank you so much for the raid! If you're unfamiliar with me, I am Old Man Sugarheart. Uh, I'm a variety streamer. Uh, today we're having a mental breakdown and doing whatever we want to do. And right now, I had this crazy hankering for this game that came out a year ago that nobody noticed and nobody cared about. Because it came out during Baldur's Gate 3. And so, uh, so yeah, it never had a shot. But it's actually a really good game. It is just kind of like a basic Unity game made by like one person. But it's pretty fun. The general premise is uh, you go through this dungeon and every 15 or flo so floors you beat a boss. And if you beat that boss, you replace that boss. And so you want to make a build that's good enough to get you to like the next boss you need to replace. But... Uh, you don't want it to be so so big that you uh, that you lose. I think I want the split. Do I want the split? We need lots of... If we stick with the treant, we need lots of different abilities and not just really good single abilities. So you know what? We're going to skip that. We're going to stick with treant because I'm having fun with treant. Anyway, we've got some pretty tough bosses up ahead. We're at floor 75. And the builds are starting to get a little ridiculous. So it's getting harder and harder to go down there. Anyway, Julia, I know it's probably getting a little late for you. So if you want to raid and run, I completely understand. I'm just happy you're here. Thank you and welcome. Mm, do I want the elf? Kind of want the elf. I'll hang on to the elf. Staying, you're just doing dinner. Perfect. I've been a, a bit in a trance. So I know I should be hungry. But I'm going to completely forget about eating until this is over. And then I'm going to make like a barrel full of hot dogs or something. This is kind of a barrel full of hot dog day, you know? You mean hyper fixating? Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Like, this is a good game, and I've never beat it. Because if you try your best at this game, you actually cause problems for yourself. So I need to, like, just barely beat the boss at level 90. And I've got some pretty tough guys I've put up there so far. Not trying to, just trying to make them tough enough. And I get a little bit obsessed. Sorry, a perfectly reasonable amount of obsessed. This is normal. I am normal. Right now, the build we're going for is very ice centric. Got our frosty golem. We are a treant, and when you're a treant, your skills will be cast in alternating order. Each time you cast an active damage skill, the next one you cast becomes stronger. And so I want lots of skills. Hmm. I'm gonna go more frostbolt. We're just gonna go real deep in the ice. So like I'll cast Glacial Spike, then Glacial Spike, and then Frostbolt. And the Frostbolt does uh, how much more damage? 
This one does 160% more, and this one does 160% more than that. Just gets bigger and bigger. My pre projectiles penetrate an additional target. Not quite what we want. Ooh. I'll get rid of the frost elf, and I will get more frost bolts. There's a plan in here. Be, be right back. Okay, yeah, take your time. Lurk away. Yeah, this stream's kind of... For one, it's a mental health day for me, but for two, it's kind of a public assert service announcement. Like, here's a cheap game that you can get and and lose yourself into for a decent amount of time let's see it's like you can entertain yourself with this game alone for many many hours i i tried to figure out how many hours i had played it for it was like 20 let's see yeah, 28 hours on record, and I was shocked. It felt like 40. I've played it 10 hours today, so that number should be like... Should be much higher now. Hmm... I get more dual cast. So the dual cast is one that's not really working in our favor right now, but it will. When I cast a projectile with dual cast, it casts the projectile next to it too. And so I need to go up a level so I can have seven skills, then I can slide another frost bolt next to it. So I'll I boost up the damage, boost it up again, and then I do like a double super damage frost bolt. That's the plan. That's the build. But will I pull it off? Phew! I'm also kind of betraying my son at the moment, who's been really into my Dave the Diver gameplay. Like, he's watched about all the videos I have, and I was supposed to make more today. But I, I needed some me time. I'm slow... I, I've kind of lost interest in Dave the Diver. It's a good game, but, like, I... They, they've piled so much stuff on me that I kind of don't want to play anymore. It's a terrible take. Like, it, it's a great game. But, like, I'm in the glacial zone and I, I just got there and I'm like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be here for a while. I can feel it. And I don't like it. I don't want to be here. I want to get to the next zone. But they keep piling more things on me, like, now you're a farmer. Now you gotta check on your Tamagotchi. Now you gotta, uh, <laughs> breed fish. Like, there's just so many things I have to do every single day. And that's part of what makes the game amazing. That, like, it does everything. It's good for people, I don't know, like me, with severe ADHD, who who want to do that, but like, I kind of want to move on at some point. And I feel like that should be okay. May I move on? Please? There's also a lot of games I should be playing. Uh, I was experimenting with a theory on my recent, like, streams. Sounds like an ADHD autism nightmare, right? 
Like, I had a theory that uh, if I streamed older games, that might be a huge hit. And so I started playing, like, a bunch of older games all at once. And uh, it wasn't as successful as I thought. Like, there are people who come in and they watch, like, the, the older games. But the problem is, like, the people who are still watching those old games, they only care about that old game. Like, I got a lot of people who watched me play Inscription and, like, loved it. But I haven't seen them since. Like, once I stopped playing Inscription, they were like, okay, we're done. It was cool watching you experience that for the first time. Now they need to find the next guy who experiences it for them for the first time. And that's cool. Nobody's obligated to follow me around. But, but if I, I intend to do this as a career, and you know, I would like to. Eventually, I do need people to follow me around. Okay, we're about to fight a werewolf on level 30. And I don't think we're doing enough damage to beat him. What can I do to change my situation for the better? If I get to level 7, that would be ideal. I am way too far away from level 7. What can I do? Um, Double down on tree and form. I don't know if that actually helps. Got so many spells. If I... Hmm. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of double cast. We're going to get rid of the golem. We're going to get more spells in the mix. Ross Nova. Ross Bolt. Get some more Frost Bolt in there. We need to like lean heavily into the, the Treant powers. Because I'm not feeling great about this. Oof. Oof. Okay. Just keep getting rid of double cast. There. Now Frost Nova does more damage. And we can get some Frost Orbs. Out here at some point. And now we pray. Let's see. You could try Twitch play party games, though you don't think many exist. Uh, there are some good ones. Ooh, I just got wrecked. That didn't go well. Um, what can I do to make it go better? Um... I don't think there's much I can do. I can change the order I cast things. Start with the heavy damage. Here, we'll make a, we'll make a sandwich. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I think I'm dead. Yeah, this guy's got so much health. We're dead. Uh, have I mentioned uh, Message Kenshin today? It's his one year closer to death day. I have not me uh, messaged Kenshin. I really should. Okay. Okay. 